Welcome back to Disney Infinity 3.0. So we take a look at the Hulkbuster suits. Now I know you're probably saying you probably know everything you know about the Hulkbuster. Well, I'm coming here to tell you you are probably wrong. I'm today. I'm going to talk about the Hulkbuster and many other Buster suits that Tony Stark has worn in the comics, but not as famous as this one. You could argue Thor Buster because that suit is pretty damn awesome. So we're going to talk about Hulk, the Hulkbuster Iron Man's role within the Marvel Cinematic Universe, starting all the way from starting with his days from Avengers. Yes, you probably didn't know the suit was an idea from the Avengers. Actually, during the end of the event of the Avengers, we all know that Rob, when you start in, your old, our favorite Gamma Radiate, Gamma and Rage the Giant, knew that we're together. What they decided to work with, they decided to make something that would destroy the Hulk. Thus, the Hulkbuster was born, which is an in, which is a satellite of both space that can come down to help when you start for the epic armor. Whoa, that's cool. Anywho, during the events of Age of Ultron, Hunter in the Wakanda, the Hulk rages out due to the awesome, to the Scarlet Witch. And Hulk get very great! So Friday so Tony Stark has Friday release. You know, none other than the Hulkbuster suit, and they have this awesome battle with Kanda and Kaza Devastation. Which is Ultron's plan because he wants them the people to hate him. Okay. Good plan, Ultron. Hulkbuster not they fight and the Hulk is pretty much pretty strong against the armored Goliath. Yes, that's what I'm gonna call the Hulkbuster the Armored Goliath. It fits. But this character is really fun to play. Anyway, they destroy Wakanda and Tony Stark barely able to hold his own. He's able to do punch, punch. Punch, punch, punch. And that was not a good idea because Hulk angry. I'm sorry. He later does this epic move. Sorry. Try and take down the Hulk in an abandoned building, but it still don't work. In fact, the Hulkbuster scene was actually probably the best scene of the whole movie. Most of his comic book fans have been looking forward to the Hulkbuster armor appearing in some form in the MCU. It was nice to see it appear. And during the events, um, well, you know, the short um, they revealed on um, Marvel Making the Universe, where they revealed some cool concept art of Scarlet Witch and Book Silver, uh, which didn't really come to fruition, um, except for Scarlet Witch. Um, the Hulkbuster stole the show for me. Um, you can see my response to that in the Lego. Um, Lego Marvel Superheroes walkthrough where I had my thoughts about it and how cool it was to show Guardians of the Galaxy and Marvel 25 years from Pop to Pulp. Anyway, that was an epic battle that took forever and they had an awesome fist by which collided and breaking glass. Breaking glass! We gotta go and break the glass! I should not have gone there. Breaking glass, we gotta go and make some breaking glass. Ah, we're falling! Nowhere there! Ha ha! Anywho. But it is revealed that they work together to make this machine, which that proves that the Hulk knows that he can't be beat. Which makes me believe that if he it was on. that if he was in um, Captain America Civil War, he'd be on Team Iron Man. He'd want himself to be regularized and possibly seen as a threat. I don't think Hulkbuster is going to appear in Captain America Civil War. The odds are very unlikely, and if they included it, how would it work? There wouldn't be a need for it, because the Hulk is not a player within it. But yet again, he did make some pretty good busters. An air iconic one is the um, Thor Buster, which is my second favorite. Because it's so cool looking and can bring down Thor. And Thor has always been a fear of mine when I was a kid. I don't know why. Um. Now I saw Thor, I thought, oh crap. What the hell is Crap. Thor! You need to be destroyed! Apparently that's why I like Loki. No, my friends only stand on my case whenever I say Loki's the best character ever. And they get on my case of asking. No! He's a bad guy! He's a bad guy! Bad guy! Bad guys are fun! You don't see really interesting bad guys in the MCU, except for Loki! Big died. 
by by Mr. Stark. I'm here. Anyway, deal with it. So he builds these busters because Iron Man knows he can't hold his own against these um, threats. So that's why he builds a Thor buster instead of building Ragnarok. Now, <clears throat> keep in mind if Ragnarok was in Civil War, which he's not, it would be interesting. I, the problem I have with Ragnarok appearing in MCU is he, he wouldn't be a good character. As soon as Thor Ragnarok hit, everyone was like, oh my goodness, Thor gonna go against Robot Thor! And the first expression in my face was, you idiots, you don't know Marvel Comics to begin with! Okay, the person who you know Ragnarok, because he's kind of a unknown hero a little bit, but he's Thor. Which would work for Civil War if they did, right? If Chris Hemsworth was coming as Ragnarok kind of to be awesome the way he is. But it wouldn't really work. Because he's gonna Ragnarok the house. Anyway. So he also made the Phoenix Killer, Killer, which is a really cool piece of armor that can take its own against the Phoenix Five. And I'm impressed that you can take down Jean Grey. Anywho. Who's excited for X-Men Apocalypse? I'm sorry I had to bring that up, but X-Men Apocalypse, looking forward to Return Quicksilver, and I'm really excited for people saying, wait, wasn't he in uh, Age of Ultron? Oh my goodness, they take us to the same universe! Oh, no! They could do a real. They could have done a really good collab if they did say that was um, if that becomes future Quicksilver. They kind of have a way of saying it. They have very different versions of the characters. But let's face it. Fox did a crap load job better. Anywho. Um, there's also always the Galactus Buster, which hasn't appeared in months just to take down Galactus. Mm -hmm. Galactus has never been an appealing character to me. It's just that I don't like Galactus. Galactus is overdone. In so many story arcs, it, it, it gets boring. Um, Silver Surfer story arcs, um... Even in some um, Thanos story arcs, I mean, um, in Guardians of the Galaxy story books, they have kind of strayed away from the Lactus, but I get really bored when I have to watch um, Fantastic Four and Galactus, and it doesn't intrigue me, because Galactus is not interesting of a villain. We get it. He eats planets. He's not compelling in any way. He's a really crappy character. But yes, Tony did make his new average intelligence system Friday, which they all expect us to forget about Jarvis and Avengers Assemble for some reason. But it's really nice to know that he's built a new average intelligence system. Just another intelligence system. A very good intelligence system. Did I already call him you Iron Patriot? Yes, I did. I, I like how, um, yeah, thanks a lot, Osborne. Or, they kind of ignore. Okay, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna argue for a minute that Iron Man three is not canon. Iron Man three is not canon, and I can argue that it isn't because none of its factors in the universe really holds up, even the part where he destroys the suits. I will accept that it was a dream, and it's because of this that he wants that the heart actually got out. I believe that it actually happened. That takes place after the events, but I believe it was just a dream because you don't know, he doesn't even try to stop being Iron Man. He, he wants to become Iron Man, it, it just doesn't work. Kind of wasted it. But it is very disappointing that Pepper Potts, Gwyneth Pastro, Gwyneth Pastro isn't going to be in, um, in the, in, in, not Guardians of the Galaxy, what am I thinking of? I'm thinking of self social how to. Oh uh, no. The only reason I watched that is because I really started to see with my cash. Um. Anywho. Mostly the only reason I watched that for late March. Master Um. Uh, so. Ignore that. Um. So yeah, Iron Man 3 isn't can because none of it affects over. We don't even hear about Iron Patriot. We don't hear anything else that happened in that. I think Marvel agrees that the plot was really stupid, that they wanted to ignore parts of it. They didn't want to establish any of it to begin with. They don't... I would, I would say it's its own solo movie. It doesn't really attach itself to MCU. 
but yeah, it does. Keep in mind, Iron Man was probably the original franchise, and it's, it's eight years. Eight years ago? No. Can't be like eight years. It has it has been eight years, hasn't it? Because two years from Marvel's time. Yeah, eight years. It's been out for eight years, and it's a very good classic. Um, really close classic. I will review it. Um. In its 10th anniversary because I can. So you're probably thinking, what are you going to review in anticipation of Civil War? Well, wait no more. I'm going to review the first. You heard it here first. Wait, no. Should I say this? I'll no, 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 no. Fine, I'll review it now. Stronger. It's probably already up. That should be no. Industry's new model. I will reveal it. No. I already revealed it. So, yeah. Sorry! I thought I didn't already. Mostly because I do this stuff long before. Anyway, the Buster armors are pretty much made to take care of whoever he's designed to take out. Um, I would really like to see a pool Buster later on. Just be like a comic relief like Gwenpool is. Be like, sup, but Robert Downey Jr., you're a phenomenal actor. You played in Iron Man. Thank you for doing, um, this will be a sixth film. So, congrats. I'm appearing in six films, Robert Downey Jr., my hat's up to you, and, um, you're two away, uh, I don't want to say two, no, he's close, um, three more, and you will tie with, um, Hugh Jackman as Will Ring, and if you beat him, Robert Downey Jr., before you quit his Iron Man, I will, hat's up to you. Hugh Jackman's a hard actor to replace, and I don't think he should end his role as Will Ring, no. Hugh Jackman is in our hearts as possibly the best Wolverine actor that we could have gotten. I heard Dane DeVito was option for it. That's just a joke. But, hope you guys enjoyed this. And then next part, we're going to take a look at Ultron. And you can see Iron Man and Captain America Civil War in theaters now. Have you seen the film? Don't spoil it in the comments! And if you have seen it, you don't watch Doctor Strange trailer, because that looks awesome. Once you already saw in the theater, and I can't wait to see how it does react to it. Okay, the Hulk Buster. Hulk Buster. He's bigger and more powerful than ever before. Hulk Buster is unstoppable. But yeah, this stole the show for me from all the trailers of Avengers Age of Ultron. It was pretty much the only trailers they would show. It was with Hulkbuster. Every trailer had the Hulkbuster and a little Ultron tease, but eh. The best trailer for Age of Ultron is trailer 3. Because it summarizes the whole film perfectly. It summarizes Ultron, the Busters, and the romance, and building up the Civil War. I, I think it does a good job. And he's in there. I love it. It's adorable. Hulkbuster is now available for sale if you want to go buy him. And, uh, I already said this before, go watch Captain America Civil War. Currently has a 95, I think, on Rotten Tomatoes. I could be wrong. But it's a pretty great film. What? Don't look at me. Don't look at me! See you guys next time. Part of Disney Infinity 3.0.